Hello and welcome to episode 7 of our social media roundup with myself, Daniel Byrne, coming to you live from the Shaw Academy, where this week we're going to be looking at all the big breaking news stories from the world of social media marketing. Now our first story today is coming to us from Pinterest, and this was the breaking news that Pinterest are now launching image search within images. Now, people are already familiar with Google image search where, you know, you simply drag and drop an image into Google and it will search for similar images based on criteria. Um, and why Pinterest are doing this, it's to optimize very similar content um, you know, from a visual basis. So you might take a snippet of a bookshelf. It might have eight or nine different books on it with different colors. You put it into Pinterest image search and it will return similar pins with um, like sim visually similar content I suppose and what the potential the, what this has the potential for is e-commerce because you might see um, maybe a t-shirt you like or maybe a pair of shoes you like and you know you crop out the shoes of the picture you put it into Pinterest image search and bang you get a pair of very very similar shoes now it might not be the exact ones you like but you might be able to shop around and find a really good deal Next, moving on, we have a big breaking story coming to us from YouTube. Now, this was the announcement of YouTube Music, and this was run kind of alongside YouTube Red. Now, YouTube Music will kind of be the streaming, the music streaming service of this that is said to rival the likes of Pandora, uh, Spotify, Apple Music. You know, there's, there's a few out there now, but the power of YouTube already and the brand name is, is, that is associated with it. You know, we have, you know, oh, you just Google it, just YouTube. It. It's the brand name there that we really think this might actually be profitable for. And if Google are still going to run the Google um, Play Music, which I think you know is a bold move from them, and it does signal the intent that they feel that these two in conjunction can actually work really well. But the major benefit of this is that you can find uh, different content from the likes of concerts, uh, remixes, and official content of the, the actual music videos there on YouTube. And I think you know the service. It's it's going to be interesting to see how it works, and um, you know if it can compete with the uh, the established names like Spotify and Pandora, and if people are actually now willing to pay for YouTube. And I think this has been one of the big issues we've seen previously, um, and now people don't really want advertising. They don't want to see it, and um, when they are browsing on YouTube, we have ad blockers already. But I think it's going to be good to see if this can actually develop into a sustainable, separate platform and YouTube music does become a household name. Now our final story this week is from Facebook and this was the massive announcement of Notify. Notify is a separate app to Facebook. It is uh, contains a variety of content and this has become around as a result of Facebook's inability to push what they call instant articles. Now instant you think of twitter you, you don't really think of you know massive breaking news reaching to you very very quickly on facebook because of the way edge rank works but now they've put this out separately and it ha what happens is you get push notifications on your on your lock screen for different articles from a variety of sources instantaneously it's in total about 100 characters plus a link and um, back to the original website where you can read more so notify is just giving you a quick insight into what is actually breaking in the news there and uh, it can come from things like sports fashion entertainment weather um film you know a wide range of topics here and i think now it's going to be it's difficult to see facebook mastering this you know they've done so many things so so well but I think just Twitter for brevity, you know, we had moments, we have Snapchat discovery, so this kind of vast amounts of content, you know, they're competing with this now, but maybe it is just going to be down to the sheer volume of Facebook users. Um, the downside we can see straight away is that it is currently iOS exclusive, um, so people, you know, it's already blocking out a segment of their market. But maybe over time when it does roll out, it might work, uh, people might get really, really behind this, I don't know, only time will tell. Also, breaking to us from Facebook this week, um, a smaller story, I suppose, is that President Obama finally got his own Facebook page. This was big news and um, was shared around the world. It was merged with his existing Barack Obama public figure uh, or politician page. So this is now um, Barack Obama uh, politician, I think, is or President Obama uh, politician. I know a few other U.S. presidents have p uh, Facebook political accounts, but Obama has finally decided to join them. 
Now guys, that has been the breaking news from this week. My name has been Daniel Byrne. I'm a social media educator here at the Shaw Academy. And if you have any questions about any of the articles discussed this week or anything to do with social media marketing in general, do feel free to pop me through an email there at socialmedia.marketing at shawacademy.com. Otherwise, I'll see you in class.